Hi everyone, today we will learn about the motorcycle clutch. We know that clutch can constantly cut the engine power. But how can clutch do that? First, I will show you the basic principles that underlie clutch's performance. You can see this illustration. There are three plates arranged as follows. Red plates, connected to the input shaft while the blue plate is connected to the output shaft. At this position, the power from the input is connected to the output shaft. But when the red plates are stretched, the input power is not passed to the output. When the plates are joined back, the input power is passed to the output. From this animation, we know that the basic principle of a clutch is friction between the plates. When the plates are joined, power from input is passed to the output but when the plates are stretched apart the input power is cut off now we discuss in more detail the motorcycle clutch has two main parts metal plates and a friction plates the two plates are arranged alternately the friction plate has a rough lining this layer prevents slippage when the plates are joined the friction plate is connected to the input shaft via a ring gear. Meanwhile, the metal gear is connected to the output shaft via the receiver gear. On the outside of the clutch, there is a pressure plate and springs. It serves to press the plates together. This pressure plate, mounted on the receiver gear, Meanwhile the springs are installed between the pressure plate and the receiver gear. It designed to allows the pressure plate move in and out. Then how does the clutch cut the engine power? The method is quite simple, when the pressure plate moves out, the plates will split apart. That makes the metal plate stop rotate. So that engine power is not transmitted to the transmission. When the pressure plate moves back inward, it presses the plates so they stick together. It makes the metal plates rotate again. So that engine power can be transmitted to the transmission. Finally, there is a clutch release mechanism. This mechanism consists of a release bearing, release arm, clutch cable, and clutch lever. When you pull the clutch lever, release arm will be pulled. That will leverage the release bearing, while the release bearing fuses with the pressure plate. So that the pressure plate can be pulled out. This process makes the engine power cut off. When you release the clutch lever, the spring on the pressure plate will push the pressure plate back inside. This spring will holds the plates to press each other. That's the explanation of the motorcycle clutch. Subscribe this channel to support us, and stay tuned for more videos.